Okay, today we're going to look at this John Deere oil filter, number AM125424C. And you can get this at Home Depot for $12.98. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. You got your inner here. Filtration. Okay, so she comes sealed in this plastic, and I already opened it up. I'll take a look at the back. It says made in USA. And look back here and you'll see all the equipment that it fits. Let's look at the filter. The date code H26P2A. This is a sticker. She has eight inlet holes with a nitro rubber o-ring. It's a pretty thick one. Yeah, it looks like a plastic cage and a bypass valve down below. It looks like a lot of th threads there too. The camera to zoom in there, yeah, there it goes. Short little filter. It's got a unique design there. Let's see what that looks like. Let's cut this baby open and see what she looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open and she weighs 200 grams. Let's check out the base plate. Base plate weighs 113 grams. And the base plate's got a unique design as it has eight inlet holes. If you flip it over, look at all these holes, 13 holes here. It's got a nice amount of threads also and a nice O-ring. Nice o-ring gasket, nice and thick. Let's see if they'll focus in for me. There it is. Yeah, nice base plate. You got your rubber anti drain back valve to cover up all them nice holes. Yeah, it's all nice. Okay, filter media. Well, well we got this little guy. Stamp leaf spring bypass valve you know it's that way nine grams okay the filter media I counted 65 pleats and it's supposed to be a high micron paper media that's all I could find out about this filter they're nicely spaced there's a glued seam metal end caps with a plastic inner cage. And what's this way? See, the filter media weighs 39 grams. And the can, let's see what the can weighs 34 grams. Let's get the thickness. I have a hard time getting this one because this can is small and it's getting the lip that lip that lips got a little bit see that's that's more of it right there 0.68 because it it's a little thicker around the lip because it's bent over and let's get this. Point seven three eight inches. Two point five four nine inches. And one point two five six inches. 
Yeah, I say we cut this baby open and see how long she is. Okay, and here she is all stretched out. And she's 54 and a half inches long. Look at how narrow she is. Almost the same size as the tape measure. <laughs> Zoom it out. Okay, well here she is at the seam. And I cut a little sample. Let's measure it. 0.77 millimeters. Let's try a different spot. 0.70 millimeters. 0.712. Yeah, that's that's it's probably right there. I mean, it doesn't take much if you if I push on this, it's going to change the reading. So it's about 0.7173. That's what it looks like. All right, let's look at the rest of the filter, good and bad. Well, you got your cage, nylon cage enter here. This is okay. Metal end caps, that's fine. Stamp leaf spring for the bypass valve. And nitro rubber anti-drain back valve. Got a lot of holes here. This base plate looks nice. I like the base plate. The filter, when I was cutting it, the glue and everything came out all at once on this. That's why it looks so clean here. Compared to see this one I cut. But I couldn't cut. I couldn't cut the filter on this. It just all came apart. You can see the little chunks of the glue. So I had to go through and cut each one individually with a utility knife. So that's why that one looks bare like that. Whole chunk of glue just came right out. What do you guys think about this filter? It's not exactly cheap. It was $12.98 at Home Depot. Hey, so I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.